An abrupt wake-up call this morning for someone, some of the people living in the city of Cannon Falls. It was a mess. A rail yeah. car being loaded with molasses exploded, sending globs of molasses flying in every direction. Fox 9's Karen Scullin has the story of a sticky situation for those living in the surrounding area. It is not a sugary sweet smell out here. In fact, it smells like burned molasses, a lot of thick black molasses kind of layering the yards and the ground around here. The explosion actually happening on that side of the street, sending molasses flying to the other side. Like a thick layer of tar, charred molasses covers vehicles, the rooftops, the yards. It's sticky and it smells. It looks like somebody sprayed oil all over everything. It's sticking to your shoes. It's all over the insides of the homes from, from evacuation and then being sent back into the home. So it's covering everything and staining everything. Residents would soon learn a rail car from the progressive rail facility across the street had exploded, sending thick globs of gooey molasses everywhere. I didn't know what to think. I knew something was wrong. Um, it was like a sound and a feeling. I mean, my whole house shook, and it was a sound that I've never heard. It was so loud. Now, it all started unfolding about 7 this morning. This video was taken from a home surveillance system. You can see a little smoke. Then a worker from the rail facility knocks on doors to warn neighbors. They leave and then watch as molasses falls, quickly turning the ground and vehicles black. Jumped out of bed, made it about five feet from my bed, and heard a big bang. And then it was kind of followed by like a big whooshing sound. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, and then that was it. Neighbors were told the explosion was caused by pressure that had built up as molasses was being loaded into a rail car. There was some structural damage to a building at the rail facility, and a piece of it landed across the street in a tree. It's a story that was all very scary to start and very sticky in the end. They said it's going to stain everything and it's going to be hard to clean up. Now, I did reach out to Progressive Rail Facility to find out how this happened and how they would prevent it from happening again. I was told no comment. Now, police here say there's nothing toxic, there's nothing dangerous, it's just a food product. But that cleanup will be pretty difficult. Cleanup crews out here telling me the rain actually doesn't melt it and, in fact, is making it a little thicker and a little gooier and more difficult to clean up. In Cannon Falls, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.